day to an uh, 307. <laughs> I mean, I've not tried before. I'm trying to stay on pitch as I just get louder and softer. See, as the air is going faster to get louder, naturally going up. So you've got to aim down, I guess. The frame of reference I miss when you just do one. Uh, if you're just doing it into the nothingness, like go, oh, a little bit sharper, but. Uh, oh, that was running out, wasn't it? Yeah, turn up. From the. Uh, in from, ooh, in from the midi. Right, it's as loud as I can get it. Okay, that stopped recording a couple of minutes ago, <laughs> which is annoying because I've just walked up a whole scale doing long, long tones as people keep asking me to do. Um, it's worked my cheeks quite hard to be fair. Feeling it. Um, yeah, I started at C and I've got up to a high E is where we got to. So. Because um, I had a timer go off. I think it stopped it. I don't know where that was now. Annoying though, because uh, you guys get to miss out on uh, those incredibly interesting long tones as I stare at my tuner down here.
right, G. because I pulled that one out thinking it was the high one but it was just everything was too sharp okay um, very exciting very very exciting uh, let's do some music I don't mind doing this every now and again I should point out um, it's just that I can't imagine this being like every day right I need to learn the tune after you've gone I need to have the melody in my head um, for a big band thing later. Not on trumpet, I should add. But. So I've grabbed it out of the real book and we'll have a, we'll have a little go. to go back and listen to some recordings of. I know the uh, course, the Emmett Cohen one, uh, with Patrick Bartley. Fantastic. But it's not one I'd really heard before that point, so definitely need to go and listen to some other versions. Yeah, 
it's written on a like a big band thing uh, where um, piano has the melody at the beginning. So it just says piano solo. And obviously whoever wrote it out just knew how it went. So it's not written out in any way. But, I mean, <laughs> had some chords in it. Just didn't have any like melody. All right, uh, let's just do a quick couple of the old English dances. See what we got going on. Um, I think I did most of this sort of paid plus and the higher ones. Just uh, what have we got? B flat. That one's got a lot of semi quavers in, but doesn't go too high. This is the Jolly Breeze. Let's go for the. Oh man, only because what a name. This one down here, the Lord Foppington. Or the new Lord Foppington. What a name. Right. It's been transposed up a tone. So it must have been B flat originally, but. Bye. 
here from there, but definitely did not have the right feel in it, but what can you do? What can you do? Okay, let's try, uh, we've got the Irish ground. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got a bass part on it. That's weird. <laughs> repeats dance instructions the bass played twice over to every couple when they begin I know anyway the melody goes uh... <laughs> what time signature are we in nine four okay it's just because that's got not wonky rhythm in it it's backwards rhythm okay Let's get the old maggot. Okay, this one's got some A's in it. Square. This one doesn't go too high, but it's in six four, which is always fun. One last one, and then we better leave it there for today. Uh, <laughs> or not, we've got to do, okay, the last new French rigodon. 
Regaldon. I forgot how you say it again. I did look it up last week at some point. You know, the whole thing about the French Rigadoons. I'm just going to go with Rigadoon. I'll look it up again, but... So, um, let's pick one with a high bit in it. Oh, this has got, okay, maybe not the one with the B in it. We've got a B flat. George's maggot has a B flat. Here we go. because I can't, uh, can't make it. Apparently it's something in long tones after all. Anyway, what can you do? All right, oh, see you tomorrow for some more whatever, who knows.